G'day guys, Brennan here with SMT. Uh, now we're at the stage of the massage where we've done the sacrum circles and done the rocking from the lower back as well, just to warm her up for the massage and it's a really, really comfortable move. Uh, and it's a really, really nice way to start the massage off. Um, now we're gonna get into actually sort of uh, getting into the massage proper. Uh, we're gonna apply the oil this one's up to her because obviously we've already done the seated shoulder massage where she's sitting up. A really, really cool way to start off the massage here while she's lying on her stomach is to just do the same routine with a few extra moves while she's lying on her stomach. If you guys want to progress further though, you could easily take this out and go to the next move. But if you guys do have plenty of time, I'll just go through what this moves will be. So basically you're doing every move that we described in the seated shoulder massage. And also just a few little extra moves with just doing thumb circles down her back. So starting off from the traps with that sort of trap massage that we did in the previous videos. Then we're moving down in between the shoulder blades and either side of the spine and then going down either side of the spine with the thumb circles. If you do want to give your thumbs a bit of a rest, usually what I do is I go thumbs in between the shoulder blades and then once I get below the shoulder blades and we're just going down the lower back, then I'll go to the base of the palms. So that'll be what I use then. Important rule here, do not rub on her actual spine. Just go either side of it. You'll have like the muscles will, the muscles will sort of go up like that and then come back in and there's the spine. Just go this side of the muscles and just like almost like push the muscles in towards the spine. Don't rub on the spine, it really hurts. Um, but the re if you rub on the muscles, it feels fantastic, obviously. The other one you can do is very similar as well, as, and then you come back up to the traps, rub the traps again, and then go out wide to the shoulders, and then come down the lats with your thumb circles, and then coming back up. This one probably works best with the thumbs, but you can also use the knuckles as well, but you can really dig into the lats because it is a big muscle. There's not much bone there at all. Uh, it's, it's a big muscle group, and you can kind of dig in a bit there. And especially if she does work out and go to the gym, it's a move, it's a muscle group that gets a lot of work at the gym. So it's really nice to get a massage in there and help speed up her recovery for her next gym session as well. So there are two extra little moves that you can throw in, but all the other moves we've described in the seated shoulder massage in the previous videos, you can do for this one. Another, what we'll do just before this as well is actually applying the oil. So really quick, the best way to apply the oil, typically if you get baby oil or coconut oil, you're gonna get it in a bottle and it's gonna have a tiny little hole at the end, which is great because it stops all the oil from just splashing out all of a sudden. So you get this like thin stream of oil as you, as you press it out. You basically rub that along her back and as you go, so you hold with one hand, squeeze out the oil and then you'll follow it with the other hand like that. So you're basically just doing this along her back and rubbing it in as you go. And then once you kind of gradually rub it in and here there's no structure to it. You're just rubbing the oil all over her back um, just to get her warmed up and just to get oil all over her back. And then you don't have to worry about applying oil too much more um, for the next few minutes. And then depending on, if you, never, if you ever need more, feel free to go grab some. But what I'd recommend is keep the oil close and just so when you stop massaging, you can leave one hand on her back just to let her know that you're still here and let her know where you are and grab the oil with one hand and then come back and put the oil on and then continue there. You wanna keep contact the whole time just so she isn't wondering like, oh, where where is he gone, where is he? It's uh, just a nice comforting thing to know that uh, you are still there, that you're not gonna leave for five minutes and leave her there and then come back <laughs> five minutes later. Um, so yeah, keep the oil close. So you can even keep the oil on the massage table or have a place very close to the massage table where you can keep the oil as well. So those two little moves are the good ones just to add in as extras. And we'll dig into one extra move because I feel like a lot of what I've done in this video has told you to re repeat uh, what you saw in a previous video. So <laughs> this one we're gonna move down to the hamstrings now just as something a little bit different. We're gonna do effleurage strokes. So we're gonna basically move ourselves down and, and uh, the way I usually do it is I'll kneel to what to the side of her legs. Um, a lot of people just like kneel in between or a lot of people will kneel like uh, one knee in between the legs, one knee to the side of the legs, whatever you prefer really. I usually just go off to the side. Uh, so what we'll start off with is effleurage strokes from behind her knee and then up 
towards her glutes. So this one, we don't want to go all the way to her glutes because we're sort of saving that for later on. Uh, we want to focus on uh, smaller parts of the body, um, uh, first of all. So we're going to really focus on the hamstrings to start off with. So you want to do effilage strokes, which is just sort of one, your thumb, and you'll basically have your hands like that on her behind her knee and then as you go up you just go one hand at a time like that it's the same sort of thing as the lower back as, as the back before we're going to use plenty of oil and get that on and that's a good way to start you sort of start with the oil and then you just get a, once you get enough oil then you can go through the effleurage strokes and this is where we're going to combine deep tissue massage which is what we're doing here with the effleurage strokes up the hamstring and more erotic sort of massage so for this sort of massage we are assuming that you guys are already sort of um romantically involved with each other usually this is typically the massages that i'm teaching on the channel here so theoretically uh she will be comfortable with you going up her thigh fairly high not all the way to the to the butt but fairly high still um with your effleurage strokes which at this point are firm your fingers are together and you just yeah going up like that if you are very new to um if you haven't built up too much rapport with each other yet or you're not as comfortable with it, just check in with each other first just to see if you're both comfortable with going high up the leg. But at this stage, you, you probably are. It's usually going to be a, a, a couples who are, who are doing this massage for each other. Then what you do at a certain point to introduce more of an erotic sort of flavor into the massage, this is where the massages get really good. So you're basically like then go, there's going to be one stroke where you're doing the f large stroke, then you'll pause at the top. So this pause, you're going to use this a lot during the massage on different parts of her body. It's going to signal to her that, okay, this is where I'm going to get a bit of a treat and an erotic sort of massage move combined with it. So it's going to be a cue in her mind to know that she can get excited every time you do this pause and then gradually lift off. So typically with that, you'll lift off in about three seconds. And then, so she'll be lying down on her back and her arms will be out to the side. And you want to go down behind her ribs. So sort of like down her lats where she was before and down along her ribs, just with splayed out fingers and zigzagging down her side. Literally just do one at a time. So I'd probably just do the side that of the leg that you're massaging and then just come down like a figure eight down the side. You can go really, really slow. So the leg massage is going to be fairly good speed you can honestly do it this fast if you want to like it, it's pretty vigorous it's pretty fast speed and then this one is really really slow really light touches and your contact is being made with the underside of the fingers so not the tips um, the tips are usually quite hard and calloused especially if you're like me and you played a bit, a bit of guitar like your fingertips are really hard and <laughs> you want to go a bit softer so the underside of your fingertips are a lot softer so go with that and go you just go figure eights down the side of her body. So it's all down the side of her ribs, down the side of her lats, down the side of her ribs. And the further along you can get underneath her ribs, the better. So that's going to be more sensitive and uh, more exciting for her. So there we go, guys. First, that was a lot, I know. <laughs> um, this will, this whole, everything we've talked about in this video will, will take, you can easily spend over five minutes on this. Uh, it's going to take plenty of time and uh, really get her into the massage and also introducing just a little bit of that erotic feel with the massage right at the end with the figure eights down the side of her body with the underside of your fingertips. So she will love it. I hope you guys did and feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see you guys in another video. Forget, apologies for the length of the video too. This was a very long one and uh, I'll shorten the other ones up later on. I just haven't been posting much lately. Um, I've been moving house, that's all. So it's been uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I got very, very lucky, but I have not been able to post as much as I'd like. So I'll get a lot more videos out there in the near future and looking forward to doing that a lot more and hopefully gave you guys plenty of great content for this one because uh, she'll love this one and it's a great way to really begin the erotic massage. And now we've kicked off and now we're going to get into some really fun stuff that she will absolutely love in the next uh, several videos that will come out. So I'll see you guys soon in another one. Peace. Bye.